This project's a little different. This project was actually my first commission. And they wanted to make a little Lego Man holder for their child. So they contacted me. We decided on how many cubes, what timber they wanted out of, how they wanted it designed, and then I got to designing. So what we ended up deciding on was a box with I think it was 16 cubes with mitered frame and cross cross connecting joints. And these were so obnoxious to do for some reason. I don't know why, but usually they're pretty easy. But I used the bandsaw and then I decided to chisel it out. My first so when chiseling it out, I tried to chisel them connected, which was a mistake because how you usually chisel is you go halfway and then you just flip it and you go the other half. But I did that, but with like two or three of them connected. So it means like some of them were not done correctly, but like after getting it fit together, it took me like a day to get it to fit together. I sanded and then since they wanted a nice rounded edge I just used an, a really thin round over bit on a router I just went through everywhere cleaning it up and left a little mark on top because I had the rasp bit set too low so I have to send that off afterwards I made sure the frame fit which it did it fit really well and I was actually really happy with, with, with the ending result of how everything was going to fit up, how everything was going to glue together real nicely. So after getting it glued, I had, this was probably one of the more stressful glue ups because I didn't have a lot of time to do the glue up. So I was getting as many clamps as I could clamped onto this thing because like there were so many different spots where it needed to be secure. And then since they wanted a face on it, so that so it's like a door, I used my table saw, which what I ended up doing was I made two. The first door didn't work because the Pyrex, the um, Perspex I used wasn't, it had scratches all through it. I spent like a day trying to fix it. So what I ended up having to do scrap it, buy more perspex, buy more timber, and the frame was just mitered together. It was a pretty it was a pretty simple job after that. And as you can see I'm actually doing the new box at the moment. And what I ended up doing after the miters all fit together, you can see me just doing the top of the miters and I think I did them together so that they would be even. And then I made sure everything fit together nicely, everything was framed correctly. And then I started on the final touch-up process, which was me getting the timbers shavings, so like sawdust and stuff, and mix it with glue and filling in all the spots that needed filling in. So even though they were all really well cut to my standard, they didn't need to be fixed because there was gaps that hand tools just, it happens because you're using hand tools. And my skill isn't on the level of mastery yet. But anyway, I do what I can. So after I did that, I grabbed my little hand plane and when everything was glued up, I had the back on, I was flattening everything, and I was making sure everything fit together nicely with the door on, so, so I could just sand it, and I could tape it, and I could do whatever I wanted, just until it finished and I ended up putting the same round over on all the edges. This is actually a really good way to hide if anything's slightly off when you're doing framework because the two round overs 
flow into each other, but you can't really feel the change if you're just like feeling up and down. So it didn't fit perfectly. So I did this to compensate. It did fit really well though. So I do, I would say, make sure it fits really well first. What I ended up doing was, she wanted a little brass knob and was able to hang it on the wall. So I used all brass fitting material and I drilled for the knob, but the knob was, the screw was too small. So I had to, I had to, um, I had to countersink it. And then me putting on the finish, I think it was just a Danish oil finish. It, it was a real nice finish for what the timber was. The timber is a light timber, so it made it look nice anyway. And you just use a rag to apply it. And for the hard spots, since I couldn't get the rag in there, I used, it's like a um, foam brush for everything else. On the back, I drilled holes in line with one of the shelves so I made it so I could put the screw through without it being seen on the project. Make sure you know where the screws are going to be so you can account for anything like needing to be hung up, um, like any of that. So I put the finish on, I let it sit there for a little bit and then wiped it off with a towel while I was finishing off the um, door and everything was off at this point so I had everything set up ready for it to just go together and after that it did so everything fi uh, fit up I put the knob on the door handle then I got the I got the hinges they were just set on the outside and since the door wouldn't stay shut, I added a little lock on it. It made it look a little fancier. It helped for its purpose to keep the door shut. It's because the hinges were from Bunnings and they're cheap. So I had to deal with what I had to do, but they turned out nice. The front of it was a bit of a problem, but other than that, it turned out really good and the next shot is the finished project and I really liked it. It it looks really good, I'm proud of it and the client really liked it which is the best part. So uh, that's it for this project, thanks, see you next time.